Okay, welcome to ETN News. We're going to look at the events around the world. This is the event map and see what's been going on. Okay, up here in Canada, that's the only thing Canada is reporting. See what they got. they got to say here. Okay, a weather drought. Western Canada. Let's go see where this is located. Going down real quick. And there's Edson over on this side and Chip Lake on this side. Okay, let's jump down here and see what we have down here. Vancouver Island. E ecological disaster, human caused ecological disaster. Vessel grounding. And that is Alpha Wadaw Point, Nay Bay, Washington. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it don't matter. You can see that it's good and clear. Montana. Air pollution, wildfires, and that is unhealthy. Then we got down in Wyoming, epidemic, animal, anthrax, confirmed in Carbon County, cattle. How would I get into cattle? which I don't know much about anthrax either. In Oklahoma that looks like it has tornado around Kingfisher. Fourteen-year-old student fatally shot four people in a rampage at a Georgia high school, officials say. And here's an explosion, it looks to me like. It labels a southwest Louisiana home, killing a teen from Alabama and injuring five. Public safety incident. United States, five people injured in St. Louis shooting, one shot in the leg. Okay, let's go right here, Ohio. Ohio, a weather drought. 22 counties in Ohio, including Highland County, declared natural disaster areas due to drought. We know the drought was coming. We watched the fire map. It's the anomaly is going to cross. Anything with heat's going to dry something out. It's common sense. Make sure I got this one. Yeah, that was. We already looked at that one. But let's go down here to Ohio and see what where we got our droughts. There's north of Fayette and. Here is Union, TWP, Washington Courthouse, okay, they're in a the drought there, which we know the droughts is coming, we're going to have more though, and even if we have a bad winter, that don't got nothing to do with nothing except for proving that uh, once the earth gets so hot and dried out, it happened before. Ice Age came before. It just shows we'll be closer, a little bit closer. Three dead after legendary disease outbreak at upstate New York assisted living facility. It's in a facility. Let's go look and see where that's located. Okay, Albany. Albany. I'd rather want to pronounce that one in that area. Times Union Center Garage, Times Union Center. And then we got this right in the middle. That's New York State Capitol. And it's right over from it. 
not very far. And here we got infection hazard. Rare but deadly mosquito disease has New England hotspots warning against going out at night. Now this this one here, this disease here. Now it's it's caused by bad water and it live, they live under water and you know survive. It can be stagnated. Uh, there's several things that can cause this. Or well, it could be something human added or anything like that. But it's caused by your drinking water. You know, if you drink it and you get it, you you can survive that if you go to the hospital and be treated with it. Most most is okay. Just make sure you get treatment if you get the you know, look it up and and see what all it causes. Oh yeah, that's the same one. Okay, we got two mosquito infections in here. That's the New England's hot spot and Massachusetts. Two more human cases of West Nile virus confirmed in Massachusetts bringing the total to six. And you go across the country, there's a lot going on. Around Spain. Insect-borne disease. Sweeps through the farms. Awful lot killing, uh, you know, chickens and things like that. At a time like this that we're going through, it just, you know, it's just uh, not right. Something fishy about that. Okay, there's so much going on over through this way. It would take a long time to sift it out. Other event at Indian. India elephant facility uh, fatalities continue. All right, I've I've had to restart this update, so I don't know exactly if I showed this to you or not. Honolulu and on the Hawaiian Islands, and let's go down here and see where it's located. Okay, now let's check it out and see what all it says. Ecological disaster environment pollution. 600 gallons of sewage spilled into East Lock at Pearl Harbor. That's a lot of gallons. And sewage. And I had a subscriber that uh, was telling me about a smell in their area, you know, and it's not in Hawaii either. It's in the U.S. and said so it's not. It smelled the whole town up and things. I wonder if they're uh, got some kind of plans about pollution to make it look like something else is going on. Something else is occurring. Like I said a lot going on. Something fishy about a lot of the things that's happening. We still have the. public collapse down down there in the Hades my screen just got stuck for some reason all right let's go check out the earthquakes all right let's take a quick look at Hawaii and we still got earthquakes out around the shelf like I said this the shelf we have to give to if the slump gives but that's the activity we got in the last 24 hours. And only one 2.5 and greater. And that's a 2.7, 1.2 miles deep. South-southeast of Kilauea. 
in Alaska. 3.5 southeast of Campbell, 27.1 miles deep, and only 4, 2.5 is greater. The 3.5 was the biggest quake. And we got down here around Goldfield, Nevada. We was looking at this the other day, and it looked like a, a larger quake could occur at any time because the way things were building and the way it's going down through here. They don't even show no fault lines right here where we got this, except for over this way. Stonewall Mountain Fault. But you can see the earthquakes there, and, you know, we've been having a lot of activity in that area. We had a 3.1, and then we had... At 3.2 before that one. Let's see what else we have here. The rest of those are 2.8s and stuff like that. But it's still picking, you know, picking up. I mean, you know, staying having larger activity on the aftershocks. They keep going up. Get all confused here. But anyway, that's Goldfield, Nevada. Let's take it back down here. Now look this here. This is Las Vegas. And we got this swarm around Indian Springs. It says Northwest Indian Springs. But you see how this is coming in together? From up this way and over this way. We got both faults coming right in right here, so there has to be a junction here that's not shown on the map like these other faults. This is Sheep East Desert Ranger's fault. But anyway, they come, you know, you got a fault line that comes right down through here that's not being shown to these faults into the Elgin, Eglinton fault. I don't know how. But anyway, the Frenchman Mountain fault. And they're not showing them all, but we have more faults down in here. The Black Hills. Got some small one over here. Okay. Anyway, we can still see a larger quake. And look up four shock shocks. If you don't know anything about four shocks, it's a quake that happens after the quake. So it's prone to a four. I mean, it could happen. It's, it's easy it can happen for a four shock here. And if we have a four shot, it can be bigger than the first quake we had in the first place. Alright, now we got over here, Washington. That's an explosion around Bosworth. And one around Kapowson. And Westport, Oregon. I don't see any more down through here. Getting activity around Murraysville, Utah. South southwest of Murraysville. And let's see what we got here. Alanka. 2.1. 3.3 north northwest of Avenal, California. 7.1 miles deep and a 2.3 east northeast of Warner Springs, California, minus 0 0.4 miles deep. Now right, we're still getting activity over toward Las Vegas, just small activity. I mean, not Las Vegas, I can't pronounce that spot anyway, but anyways, the Canberra Fault. And we're getting it down through the San Andreas fault. And we seen one, I seen one yesterday or the day before on the Hayward fault zone. Don't need that fault to wake up either. It would be a bad deal. Okay, nothing else to show here. Let's see what Canada is reporting. few small quakes in Alaska. Okay, not much at all. 2.5 and greater. 5.5 regions ridge, 6.2 miles deep. 
and got a little swarm around Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. And here's what we got here. Uh, I don't think I showed this one. I'll have to get the file itself in there. It won't let you click on it. Oh, it's a 2.5 south of White City, New Mexico. And down here around New Zealand, south of the Kermadec Islands, a 5.2 and a 5.0. We're still getting activity down here. These are just fours and fives. There's nothing significant right now going on. 4.3, that is around Fiji, 375.7 miles deep. And we're still getting activity on the cocoa plates. If you notice, we started getting smaller activity over here towards South Carolina going that way, where we haven't seen any activity on the seismic zone in so long in South Carolina. We started getting those. And then this one down here, That's some deep quakes, so it usually causes problems over this way where the plates are pushing against each other. And that's a 4.9 right now on the Coco's plate. Alright, now let's go over here and check out the storms. We had four yesterday. Oh, look at this. Here's one. Disturbance four. Okay, we still have four. 30 days chance. That's going on up. Hopefully that moves on out through there before it develops anything. 10% chance in seven days. Right up under Texas. And then we got one here, disturbance three. And I guess it's, uh, I guess that's part of it. 20% chance, seven days. 0% chance in 7 days. So this one here looks like it's going to die out. Now this is disturbance 5. This one's 4. So we have 5 now. It's a lot going on over there. And now we got 3 more over this ways. Low chance in 24 hours. Low, low chance in 24 hours. This is heading right on up toward Alaska or Russia 1. And this one is the 150 mile per hour typhoon carrying a lot of rain. And it's come, still projected to come in at Halon. Alright, I'll see you on the next updates. Everybody stay safe and we'll be watching. One more thing. It looks like we may be building for another large quake. Just not sure on it. But it looks like it may be building. So be prepared just in case. Around the fault lines, around the ring of fire. This plate, you know, they're pushing each other up against each other. And the weakest spot, whichever the weakest spot is, whichever side, will have a large quake. And it looks like we're starting to build again on that activity. Because the way it's picking up in certain areas over this way. Gold field, places like that. So just be prepared just in case. But if it does hit, I think it'll hit this side this time. It's the way everything's moving, the way things are going. All right, I'll see you next time.